okay now in this uh, small presentation i will be discussing how to convert forest to binary tree forest is a disjoint trees only assume that will be given with the three trees disjoint trees there is no connection at all the first tree say a is a root node b c d are its children e and f are the children of t g is the root node h i j are the three children and k is the root l is the children the first step is to convert each of these to binary tree this is not binary tree because it is having three children this is also not binary tree because it is having three children now our first objective is to convert this forest these trees to binary this is the first tree that we are going to take so it's so simple draw edges to all the sibling nodes then disconnect from the parent except the leftmost child b c d are the sibling e and f are the sibling so draw or connect them b c and d in the same way e and f are connected this is the first step the next is you have to you have to disconnect it how this you have to disconnect this you have to disconnect this you have to disconnect keeping the leftmost children link with the parent a to b should be there t to e should be there after removing this is the next uh, tree read right a left child is b right child is c c right child is d d left is e e right is f this is the first one we will go for the second one having three children i h i j the root is g h i j are the sibling draw the edges disconnect these two keeping the leftmost link Uh, the parent uh, child uh, link then again read row g left is h h right i right g last one so simple as it is having done this the next step is to connect them there are three binary tree now having a as a root g as a root k as a root connect all the three roots a connected to g connected to k in the third step rotate it see a left is the tree uh, uh, child b uh, that is same a right child is g okay g right child is k okay this is the final version of that tree okay so for the given tree what you have to do you will be given a forest then you have to convert them into binary tree by connecting all the siblings then you have to disconnect keeping only the left child link with the parent then redraw it repeat for all the forest then all the forest root has to be linked joined then redraw it just by rotation we we'll take one more example b three children d f i and j are the children of e C, G and Z, G and H are the children. K. For this one, draw edges to connect all the siblings. D, E, F, all the siblings I and J. Disconnect from the parent. Redraw it. After redrawing, B left, D, D right is E, E two children are I and F, I right is J. Here, as usual. will get the same tree given tree only will get because it's a binary tree connect them this is the answer for that question then left is the tree i'll be covering here in a brief way the left is the tree is a binary tree and it is having two property one it is not empty 
the second point is that shortest distance of left child of that particular node should be greater than or equal to shorter distance of right child of that particular node you will be given two tree you have to see whether both are uh, left tree or not first is to obtain the extend, extended binary tree extended binary tree is a tree where the null nodes are added as these becomes now internal node you have to add external node that is a null node like this D ultimate uh, child, but you add two external node for B. See, left nothing is there, add one external node. F like that. Okay. Right now, you are here in the external node. What is the cost of reaching to its parent? From here to here, distance is 1. From here to here, distance is 1. From here to here itself, 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Out of that, you have to choose the minimum one like that you have to repeat it okay that is shown like this zero uh, for d it is one as both are of same cost so you can take any one of that e again one cost of reaching to b from here also one plus one to till here it is one plus one two till here it is one plus one it is two for f it is zero plus one or zero plus one both are same so you take any one of that the cost of reaching c it is not 2 because this is actual node 0 plus 1 1 the cost of reaching 2 is not 3 uh, this node is not 3 because this minimum 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 out of 3 and 2 3 and 2 2 is the minimum this is the left tree 3 is not null c the shortest path of left of a is 2 left right of a it is 1 2 is greater than equal to 1 so it's a left history it's a left history then uh, take the other uh, tree that is uh, this one okay whether it is a left history or not after adding initial node and cost this is the things Okay, here the cost of reaching D is 1, cost of reaching is 1, A 1, cost of reaching B is 2, 1 plus 1 or anything you can take. Cost of reaching C is 1, cost of reaching F is 1, cost of reaching A is 1 plus 1 that is 2. Now we will see whether it is a left history or not. If you take this node, left of this uh, is 1, right of this is 1, 1 greater than or equal to 1 that is true, no problem. Now, if you take this one, left of that A is having cost 2, right of that A is having cost 1, 2 is greater than 1. So, it is okay. But here, left child, though it is, as it is external node, the cost is 0. This is the rightmost child, right child, cost is 1. 0 is not greater than equal to 1. So, it is violating that rule. So, it is not left history. Okay, that quotes refer textbook. The next is you will be given two trees, you have to meld them, you have to combine them, you have to get one tree. Okay. This is a tree given, the first tree and the second tree. This is a tree and uh, this one, one, two and all the cost. This is a tree. The final tree has got a feature or the character that that the root node should be of lower cost than it's their children. So when you merge them, two should be the root because two is smaller than five. Five cannot be the root, so two should be root. Okay, this is a point that you should remember. Here, the first step is the right path of this node, right path of this node has to be combined. 
okay so the right path is uh, while doing so you have to keep that in mind always the root should have the lower value so you cannot start with the 50 50 cannot be the root because 8 is smaller so 8 10 15 right path of this 8 10 15 okay then you connect other one right path of this node 50 80 50 and 80 so one part is over the next is for this you have to add the remaining part this is the part left this is also the part left the left of the tree that you have to join out like this this is a previously what we got obtain one i'm going to take the first tree so 5 and that second tree 5 9 12 28 why i took 5 because 5 cannot be the root because 2 is the smaller one 2 should become a root then add to that part that means uh, we have taken this also now this is left you have to add that okay this is the thing 2 7 11 and 13 we have to check whether it is a left tree or not anyway cost is proper the root should have the higher value uh, lower value than the child that is okay now we have to see that cost here cost is 1, here it is 0, okay, no problem. Here 0, here 1, no problem. Here this side is 1, this side is 2, see, failed. So this is not the left tree, you have to arrange that. How to arrange? For that, 2 should be the root, okay, 2 should be the root. Here it is failed, these two nodes failed, 7 and interchange them first. So 7 you bring this side, 5 you bring to the other side okay next here you have to swap it this particular tree part this particular tree part you have to swap after swapping 8 will go this side and 9 will come to this side you array or indicate that with a dotted color this is how to meld two trees Okay, thank you.